Hey everyone. All right, let's go ahead and let's get started. This is going to be for um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Cancers, I have been getting like, and this isn't going to be for everyone, this reading. So um, if this is something, reading should be confirming what you already feel and know um, for your situation. Okay. And this is general. So keep that in mind. Um, I've been feeling like this energy around marriage, but it's, it's not just any type of marriage. It's like a marriage where God is like writing someone's love story, bringing two people together. That that's the energy that I've been feeling as I was preparing for your reading. Uh oh. And it's interesting because on that part of the deck, I saw that your uh, what was the card said? Your family will be growing in numbers, and it feels like because of a marriage adding in-laws you know merging of families it feels like growing yup yep. oh look at that i told you that's the card that i saw when i parted the deck and i've been feeling marriage for someone see your family will soon grow in numbers and love and as i was preparing for your reading and um even today throughout the day i kept feeling that energy around marriage like like there's a group of people that are going to be getting married, meeting their spouse. But it's like the person that God has for you. It's like how you're going to meet. It's going to be like fate. It's going to be serendipitous. It's going to be magical. Like it's like no, you, you and this person won't even be able to explain this connection. Because that's how like fated and how much God is going to be in it. Let's see, what else? Yep, your family's gonna be growing in numbers and and love. Because I'm I'm feeling like, like I said, blending of families. Um, a challenging situation with their family will be resolved. We're gonna look at this. Let's get the rest of this stuff out. Let's take one more. Okay, yeah, see your intuition. Yep, if this is what you've been feeling, I told you, yeah. Your intuition and insight are currently expanding at this time. That's how you'll know this is your reading because you've been feeling this. Intuitively, you've been feeling this. It says it's expanding at this time. This will allow you to see situations for what they really are and release any doubts you may have. So you may have been feeling doubtful about what you've been feeling. That's why I said this should be confirmation. This, there is someone that you may be questioning whether or not they're your person. You may be questioning whether or not God told you someone was your spouse, was the person you were going to marry. Your intuition is, are, is on point. Okay. You feel this. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. This is just, this should be confirmation for you only if you're already feeling it. And it says here, there will be a move or relocation in their future. I'm seeing here conflict too. There's going to be some sort of conflict around this move, this relocation for you. And I'm seeing family. So this seems like issues within family because you're going to be blending in family. So that's, that's going to be challenging initially, right? And then moving, relocating some people. Uh, may not like the idea of the two of you moving together, maybe even having to relocate. Some people may not like that. And I'm getting here because I feel as though someone, a family member or fam or members in a family is going to have a problem with the two of you being together. That's why we got here this energy of conflict, challenging situation within the family. There's going to be some sort of conflict around the two of you being together. I feel like that you two are different than what each other are used to dating. And I'm getting here energy of someone nitpicking. Like trying to find fault in the two of you being together. 
someone may feel like the other one, someone in the family may feel like this, that you are a user or that this person is a user. They're just trying to find issues, trying to find an issue in the two of you being together. Let's get into this a little bit more. We got the rural card. Yeah, your world is about to change. Your world is about to change. You're about to wrap up a karmic cycle. You're graduating. This is the world. You are graduating uh -oh, from, a, from a karmic cycle. You went through some sort of dark period and you're coming out of it. That's a major arcana. So it's a major completion that's taking place. Yep, God is, God is about to show someone something. Someone felt rejected, abandoned by God, left out in the cold, in the rain. And you're about to soon see, because it's coming to a completion, that you were not forgotten. There, This person is going to be a blessing in your life. Unlike any other connection. Like I said, you two are different though. I think maybe like different classes. Like maybe some or um like you know like financially, like someone feels wealthy and the other one isn't. And I feel like someone in the family is gonna be judging, like, why are you with that person? They're not even on your level. It's giving that type of vibe. We got here um death that see an ending. There's an ending. A end and I feel like you've changed because the death card is also a card of transformation I feel like you're being more grounded with that tree right here you're more grounded now you've transformed and you're about to end like I said that karmic cycle and you're about to embark on a new a new cycle A new chapter, a brand new chapter. Yeah, see, Nine of Pentacles is coming through. This is someone that's single, independent, minding her own business. She's minding her own business. But there's an end. There's about to be an end to your singleness. Clarifying this death card is a Nine of Pentacles. See, look at the back. Look at how those trees are planted in this person's back. You have been carrying your family. You've been carrying some sort of legacy on your back all by yourself. All by yourself. You're responsible for some sort of legacy within the family tree. You've completed that you had to go through a karmic cycle. You had to sacrifice yourself in that karmic cycle. But in sacrificing yourself, it led to a major transformation. It led to you being more stable, more wiser, more mature. And with that, you're graduating. You've completed it. You've completed that cycle, that karmic chapter. And now you're coming out on the other side. Successful, stable, abundant, forever change. And we got a lot of pentacles now. We got the nine and then we got the eight of pentacles. Some of you may be meditating. But I'm getting here like a, a peaceful energy around you. Or at least you're, start, you're going to start to feel this peaceful energy. And the things that you thought you missed out on, you did not miss out on. You're actually going to be receiving better than what you thought you had wanted in the past. I'm seeing that there's going to be some sort of commitment and dedication to your work in the near future. You're going to be focusing a lot on work. Your goals, your purpose. That's where your attention is going to be. Some sort of hobby. And then we have here. There's something going on with this Queen of Swords. Now under here is outside of you. 
So there's a there's a person, and this is a spiritual person. I'm getting here with this Queen of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. We got the Two of Swords coming. This could be an um, an Aquarius because we also got the Star card coming through. But doesn't have to be. There's this could be an Air sign, Gemini um, or Libra. But there's something about some sort of spiritual person that's showing up, and something not being seen. Oh, you can't see this person. So they're not only are they a spiritual person, I feel like they're just a spiritual being. That's what they're trying to tell me. This is someone that's not here on earth. They're, they may be here spiritually. This could be a past, uh, a past loved one, especially with the death card here. Someone that has passed away that's watching over you. Yeah, this is someone watching over you. You can't see them. And we got here the star card. Blessings, abundance, healing, fate, destiny. Yeah, the will of fortune. Okay, so there's something spiritual going on here for you. And I told you, and I, and I feel like it's to bring in that person. There is something spiritual happening for you. What is this spiritual energy about for cancers? There's someone spiritual coming through. A, fr a friendly connection. A friendly connection will bloom in, into a romance. You may feel an excited nervousness at this time as it will bring forth unexpected deepening of emotions. There is someone spiritually bringing in this connection, this romantic connection for you. Someone who, look, someone who is destined to be in your life will soon enter. That's what they're doing. They're bringing that person in. Let me read this. I'm sorry I'm getting excited for you guys, for whoever this reading is for, because I love how the messages are just lining up to show you that I'm not just saying it. Like, this is what I'm feeling for whoever this reading is for. Someone who is destined to be in your life will soon enter if you make room by cleaning out the energy of another who is no longer suited for you and the expectations that they will change. I don't feel like that part is for you. I feel like we're going to stop here. Someone would someone who is destined to be in your life will soon enter in if you make room by cleaning out the energy of another. And I feel like by cleaning out the energy, period. And that's what you've been doing. I feel like you've been cleaning out your energy. It's not about another. This is about you. That's why we talked about an ending. That some, your karmic cycle, you being more grounded, more rooted, more calmer, more present more focused like you're not in this like this antsy type of energy this emotionally unbalanced energy you're feeling more stable things are starting to shift and change you've been cleaning out your energy and i did a reading previously talking about your energy and it's like someone is picking that up like okay let me focus on me and let me change and as you've been doing that you're starting to feel better or you will start to be feeling better. You're committing yourself to your project and your goals and your dreams. You're working really hard and focusing on that. But it feels peaceful. It doesn't feel rushed. It feels really peaceful. It feels like you're going with the flow and you're just allowing. You're allowing. You're not trying. You're not feeling anxious. You're not feeling, you know, frustrated. You're allowing. And as your energy has calmed down, here it is this this friendly angel or this friendly being, this is, I feel like someone in the family though, a spiritual family member that's no longer here and you can't see them. You don't see what they're doing. They're helping to bring this person into your life. I don't know who the person is yet. They have not revealed them. I feel like you can't yet see them or you can't yet know um, all the details around how it's going to happen. But it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah, see here? 
even right here when we talked about an energy of conflict approaches try to maintain a calm cool and collected demeanor that's the energy that you're in now calm cool and collected and they're saying maintain that energy because there is going to be some challenges as the two of you merge. Blend families. Blend your lives together. There are going to be some naysayers. Because people are not going to understand. Because you know what I'm also getting? Sorry, I have to take a drink. But what I'm also getting here is that... Um, this feels like, because with this end, end of your independence, of your singleness, it feels like, like coming together really quick. Now I know why. That makes sense. Now I know why you're so calm and cool and collected. Because you're, you're not, you're, you're independence. Having to carry everything on your back, having to be in that survival mode, it's over with. It's over with. And in your near future, I see you being able to focus more on your projects because you're not carrying it all by yourself. You're not by yourself. You're going to be with someone. They're not showing them yet. That's why I was feeling that energy of feeling calm, cool, and collected. I couldn't see the person. This is like living on some sort of plantation. Or, I mean, maybe not plant a state, put it like that. It's like, or whatever. You're living on some sort of big property. And remember I told you, it felt like someone was wealthy. And this is the death card. For me, I wanted to clarify what is coming to an end for you. Your singleness. Because you're not going to be by yourself. You're going to be able to be committed because I feel like someone is wealthy to where you won't have to work unless you want to work. That's why you're so calm. Because you don't feel that pressure. Look at her. She's just sitting here chilling and, you know, focusing on her craft. Focusing on her hobby. And that's when I, and that, and that, back to my original thought of, I feel like the two of you coming together is things are going to move fast. That's why it's going to be a challenge within the family. Because when the two of you come together, people are going to have opinions. You guys are going to be moving in together and people are going to find that problematic because they're going to think because someone is wealthy and they're going to be like, oh, like why they're, he, he's just a user. She's just a user. She's just using you. Like it's, it's that type of energy. Like they're not going to understand why is this person willing to share so much of their life and give you give you this space to not have to do anything but just be like I said there is um because we saw here even right here this confirms it as well a move in the near future near the near future moving in together in the near future it's gonna happen soon how you and this person it's like meeting I would not be surprised with this two, within two months of meeting, the two of you moving in together. Because I'm seeing here feeling conflicted. Feeling conflicted. And this is also making me feel like a marriage wedding dress. And feeling conflicted. Because someone is going to propose within two weeks or within two months of being together. Because at the top of the reading, your family was soon grow in numbers and luck and I'm telling you I'm feeling like families coming together because of marriage and I'm seeing spiritual beings bringing this together now the interesting thing about this is that I'm not seeing yet um, the person like they haven't showed up yet why are they being hidden where are they Let's see. Let me just go ahead and ask. So who is this person that um this per that the viewer is going to be marrying? Where are they? They haven't showed up in the reading yet. That's interesting. I think that that means something to me. If that's something that's being brought to my attention that they haven't revealed, there's something about reveal. What there's something about them. Let's see. There's something about them that's yet to be revealed. The Six of Swords. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, let me see what else. Sorry about that noise. Like, oh my gosh, you guys just do not know. That irritates me so, <laughs> that irritates me so much when I be hearing those cars. Um, like, cause they'll even race down the streets with the, uh, like race cars. It's like, oh my gosh, stop doing that. It's so annoying. All right. Sorry. Um, so we got here the six of swords. This is about this person. They're doing, they're fixing something. It's like they, they're, they have gone ahead. That's what, yeah, they've gone ahead. That's why they're not showing up yet. Because they went to prepare something. They went to prepare. Hmm. They have gone to prepare something. What are they doing? It's like getting something ready. They're in a good energy. They're in a really good energy. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Yeah, even right here we got driver. Steering, safe passage, welcome, navigator of journeys. Listen, what are they doing? They're doing something. What is this person doing? Okay, so let me tell you this. They've they've gone to um one thing that I'm picking up with this energy, they've went to talk to family. They've went to talk to family and or friends, like the people in their lives. They went to go talk to them. To prepare your coming. This person, they have are they already know what to do. They already know what to do. They already know what's coming. They already know that it's you. Whether or not you know is is it's not here for me. I'm telling you for them, they know it's you. So they've gone ahead and went to prepare for your coming. They're going to prepare their family and friends, the people in their lives about you. Because I'm telling you, there is something different about you than the people that they are used to dating. There is something different about you versus the people that they are used to dating. So it's like they're letting them know, like, don't come for you. Even though there's going to be some, a little bit of challenges here, they're letting them know in advance to not come for you in that way. Because there's something unique about you. There's something very unique about you. See, security guard, I told you, look at this. Protector, guard, this person. It says patrol keeper, watchman, service provider. For some of you, this person could be a police officer um, or they could be a security guard. But this is coming up for me. This is making me feel like a protector. This person is going to be very, very protective of you. So they have gone before, ahead rather, to go and talk to people, like to prepare, see the community. Neighbors, team, connection, society. See, they went to their community. The people that they do life with, their, the people that they've grown up with, their friends. And they've talked about you because they're very protective of you. And they don't want these people to uh, you know, make you feel unwanted, to make you feel unwelcome. We got here homeless, unemployment, solitude, hunger, bankruptcy, and wandering. Uh, what is that about? And father. Oh, father. There's something. Okay, so their there's something going on with their father. Yeah, see, even here, young. There's something. Uh, there's something going on with their father. They may have like a father that's not a part of their life. Their father could have some sort of addiction or um, there's some sort of issue around the father. Like be, maybe they're homeless because of some sort of addiction 
or their father isn't in their life. There's something going on though with them and their father. And then he got here young. Let me see what that's about. All right. There's something going on here with the father. Like a father wound. Whether this father is here or not. I feel like there was some issues with the father. The father may have had like some sort of addiction. Uh, or just was it was definitely not present in this person's life. But I feel as though... I don't know. It's like using that experience, using rather their father wounding and trying to be better than their father. It's like you weren't there for me. So, you know, I'm going to show you, I'm going to make something out of myself. I'm going to be a better man than you, a better father than you. It's like this person feels like they have to prove something to this absent father, whether they're living or not. I feel like they may have, go I feel like maybe they could have been told that they weren't going to amount to something or a father maybe put them down and they feel some sort of need to prove that. Yeah, see here at the emperor, there is definitely something going on with the father. They had, they, they had a tough father. That father uh, could have put them, oh, that, oh, that's where it is. It was them. It was them. There was something going on. This is when they were younger. They had a tough father. It was them that was a, they felt abandoned by their father. And I feel like they hit rock bottom too. Their father could have put them out. And I feel like they hit rock bottom. And that's where that energy of, I'm going to show you, I'm going to make something out of myself. They could have been unemployed. And bankrupt and told they would never amount to anything or was made to feel like they wouldn't. And so I feel like they are driven to be better than what those uh, messages that their father put into their head. I feel like this person has traveled and I'm also feeling like um, they're like a daredevil. Like or like rebellious type energy, like they they like they feel it feels like this would be someone that bungee jumps. They like to engage in like really challenging sports. We got the moon that the moon is coming in, so there's something about them that they keep hidden and and suppress. They're not hiding it from you per se. They're just not like wearing. There's something here that's going on with them that they're not like just open about at least not to just anybody I feel like they feel sadness at time yeah a perfect a perfect at work this person is a perfectionist because they were made to feel imperfect we got here the perfect at work all right so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up because I was going to do an extended reading but I cannot find my battery and I'm about to run out of battery so I don't have enough battery um, to do the extended. So maybe I'll do like a part two and put that out later. But as of now, let me just go ahead and wrap things up. Um, this says perfected work. And that's what I was thinking. Like this is someone that's uh, like a perfectionist because of the noise that they heard from their father. I feel like their father could have been very strict. And they could have been rebellious, rebelling against their father. But I also feel like um, trying to prove their father wrong as well. There's a lot that this person has suppressed. Tell me more. We got here. Yeah, see, material work. This is a hard worker. It even says it down here, material work. So there's something around work for this person. And this says here, yeah, great strength in reverse. There's something around work. Like I said, a perfectionist, a workaholic. But it feels like they feel as though they have something to prove. There is some sort of fear. And not just with the moon, but also with the nine of wands in reverse. Great strength. 
I feel like this person doesn't want to look weak. And we got here Hermit coming through. Yeah, this is an old soul. Whoever this person is, they're an old soul. They're, they may be young, younger or young in age, but maturity rise, they're very wise. This is someone that people go to. A lot of people will even rely on them. Like people are always coming to them for advice and or for guidance. Like they're always um, in positions where they're the hardest worker. They may come in early and stay the longest. Um, again, people look up to them. They, they know how to fix things. If anything goes wrong, people know to come to this person. They're, yeah, see, they're like a guide. They're like a guy, a navigator. They know they know how to direct people. There's something around a building. There's something being built. They may be starting some sort of new project because I'm seeing giving orders as well on like what goes where. Oh, this person is really deep too. A deep reflector there's something about where conversation uh, like they have like thought-provoking types of conversation not too many people are on their level and I feel like they've went like I said I feel like they've I feel like they've learned a lot at some sort of point where they could have been homeless in their life or they could have been bankrupt at one point in their life. But I feel like that period taught them a lot about life. I feel like this is someone that uh, has like street smarts as well. I'm picking up like with this ninja energy and this homelessness energy. I feel like this is someone that has like street smarts. And we got here, success unfulfilled. But this is coming up in reverse, so they are a success. The thing about it is, this person is a success, but no matter how much of no matter how much of a success they are, it's like it's never enough for them. And that's where this this is like moon energy. So this is some stuff that they're not even aware of, and it's to stem from their childhood. All right, anything else about this person? Yeah, it stems from memories around their childhood, too. Uh, we got the King of Swords. So this could be, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is like, there's like two sides to this person. I'm, I'm surprised the lovers didn't come out, but definitely getting here. Yeah, see, loss and pleasures. This person has experienced loss. That's what I'm saying. They lost it, but got it back. And this could even be lost. Like, I feel like, like lost in the sense of like money and even people. They've experienced a lot. And I also feel like, um, again, this is someone that's very dis defensive, protective. Protective of what they allow because of some things that they've gone through. This person is really no nonsense. And I feel like it took going through some things to get them to this place. Yeah, this is someone that's very, uh, let me see. All right, I said I was gonna wrap it up, but I keep going. <laughs> uh, we got the broken. Turn your wounds into wisdom. See, that's what happened for them. They turned their wounds, the things that they've gone through, into wisdom. They've learned from them, had to learn hard lessons. This is someone that has definitely taken the things that they've gone through and they've made a, a success out of themselves. They've used what they've gone through to drive them, to motivate them. 
It says here, do not harden your heart and prevent the magic of life to flow through you. And that's where that air energy is coming in too. With that moon here, I feel like this person has hardened their heart. Because the King of Swords is not someone that's going to wear their heart on their sleeve. Life has taught them some lessons. But they're in the shadow, because it even says it right here, Shadow Walker. They're in the shadow where they're being very defensive and very protective and very guarded. There's no balance here. And they feel like in being that way, that's how they remain safe. That's how they make money. By being smart. But it's like shadow smart. Like they're not aware that it's, um, it's coming from a place of fear. It's coming from a place of abandonment. It's coming from a place of your childhood wounding. We have the drama queen. There's something going on as it pertains to someone they were dealing with. A drama queen. The ancestors. Yep, see, it says here, move beyond ancestral patterns. Do your part to change the way you feed them to have the freedom your soul craves. Yeah, there's something here that they need to do their part in. The way that they feed. I feel like it's a pattern in their ancestral lineage. And they have to use that sword to break that pattern. Alright, I don't want to go too much into their energy like that. That would be something I would do in the extended. But I'm not going to do one. Let me just get a couple of more cards and then we'll um, wrap it up with, with looking at your energy. Yeah, we got here the plastic. Yeah, there's this person, I feel like there's something about ex about looks. There's something about looks. I feel like their looks. And I there's something going on with their looks. That I feel as though uh like low self-esteem around looks. Something could have happened. There could be something going on with their face. They could have even gotten plastic surgery, gotten something fixed. But just because they got something fixed to make them, or maybe even fix themselves up, maybe they lost weight. I don't know. They did something physically to make themselves look better. But that mindset that they had, that low self-esteem that they had when they had that issue, even if they got it fixed, the mindset is still there. Definitely something around the face was done. The slow mover. Yeah, this is someone very guarded, very slow. I'm not going to jump into a relationship with anyone. Let me uh, briefly see what's going on with them when it comes to you. Waiting when it comes to you. Longing. It's like they're waiting and longing for you. Going places. They feel like you're going places. They feel very impressed by you. Yep, they feel like you're someone that has like a bright future. This person believes in you. They believe in some sort of talent, some sort of gift, gift that you have. Yeah, possessive. Very possessive. That's what I'm saying, possessive of you. Not It says not letting go. Control, greed. This person feels responsible for you. That's why I said they're going ahead to talk to family about you, to prepare a way, to prepare the way of you coming. Like they're letting people know how important you are to them. And we got, yes, see communication. And let's see the bad intentions. Like anyone that has any bad intentions towards the two of you being together, it's like they're putting them in their place. But this will be someone, this person is smart. They may even wear glasses, but I feel like this is someone that's smart and attractive. But I feel like there was some sort of like look issue that they had. But they changed it. But they still, like I said, have that mindset. I don't feel like you may be like, oh my gosh, they're really attractive. But they don't feel attractive. Yeah, in the closet, we got beauty queen. We got beauty queen. Beautiful. They think you're beautiful. But look, we got private, hidden. They're not going to tell you that. I wonder why. 
they think you are beautiful because it even says a true feelings they're going to hide their true feelings for you because they don't want you to they don't want to tell you how beautiful that they, they will probably like uh compliment you but the way that they really think about you like they may say oh you look nice they're going to downplay it when they really think you're very beautiful you stand out they really feel like you stand out budgeting I feel like they may see that you may need some sort of financial help money issues and this person is going to want to help you there's something about you having money issues and them wanting to help you yep see trial and error especially when it comes to some sort of business they're going to want to invest all right let me uh oh let me go ahead and see what's going to happen with you and this person within the next two weeks of you watching. Yeah, they're gonna wanna help you though. Cause didn't we see something around? Hmm. Well, we know they're going to be soon entering, but I thought, I thought I saw something around money or career. Either way, I feel like this person is going to help you with some sort of project, like helping to it's like helping you with the finances, helping you with budgeting, helping you with planning. It's like the money part of it they're going to be helping you with. Because they believe in something that you do. What's going to happen with the viewer and this person? What's going to happen? Gifts. See, that's what I'm saying. Like uh, family. If it's like... There's something that's going to be happening around some sort of gifts. This could be like a like wedding presents, birthday presents. There could be some sort of gathering and it looks like people buying gifts. Housewarming. What else? But this isn't just the two of you. It feels like a community of people coming together to bring gifts. Yeah, see holiday. This is making me feel but you see how a holiday, there's some sort of special occasion. This flipped over. Abundance, not right now. So when it comes to abundance, that's what I'm saying. There's going to be some sort of, of like question mark around your finances. But it does, and it's not, uh, see, help. You hear that? There's going to be something going on around a project or starting something. This person is going to help you. There's something that you're meant to get off the ground. There's something that you're meant to do. But you need the space and a safe space to do it. They're going to provide that safe space for you. So that you can focus. Yeah, see wedding. That's where the gifts are coming in. We got here wedding. And that's what I was talking about at the top of the reading. That's where this gifts and this holiday could be like a honeymoon or something. Because it was giving me like wedding vibes in this picture with the all white. And that's where that gifts are coming in at. And we're seeing wedding. So this could be, you know, having some sort of gathering and family and friends. Remember I said preparing the way. So I feel like you and this person are going to get married and then people will know. And I feel like they're going to let their family know, like, okay, I'm going, I want to introduce you to my wife or I want to introduce you to my husband. It feels like that. Yeah, I see breakfast in bed, like honeymoon. This is feeling like, I feel like you and this person are going to get married before you even let people know. And then we got here November coming. Hey, ah, there's the business. Yeah, you're going to be, this is why an end of your singleness. Remember I said being on some sort of like a state and I feel like first just relaxing. It feels like relaxing and that's why abundance not now and we got business November that came out together right so I feel like you're gonna be taking a break from work from or you're gonna have an opportunity because this person is gonna be providing you're gonna be able to be free to not do anything until you're ready and then in November there is gonna be a shift when it comes to see I told you them helping you going over your business plan they're gonna help you and look, on your birthday, more gifts. Something is happening. Uh, ooh, see, relaxing. Spa weekend. 
whenever your birthday is, whether it's this month or July, whether you're a sun cancer or moon rising Venus sign cancer, there's something significant about your birthday and what they're going to do, take you someplace. But I'm telling you, it feels like you're going to have a break. You're going to have some sort of break where you're not having to work. You're not having to be in that survival mode. And I feel like when you're ready, which will probably be in November, they're going to help you. See, abundance, not right now. This business thing, not right now. You need to take a break. Because remember we talked about wrapping up a major cycle, a completion. And that was tough. That karmic cycle, dealing with toxic people, toxic situations, having to change even yourself, dealing with your own stuff, right? Well, you need to take a break from having gone through all that and you're going to get it. All right, so that is going to conclude our reading. I wish you all the best. Bye.